unique New York. I'm sinking again. We can all cast out. <coughs> Get out. World's Strongest Man Week. Um, today is Tuesday and we're flying out. Well, the majority are flying out Friday. So today we got a special. We have 10 facts that you did not know about some of the strongmen that are going to World's Strongest Men. Well, I definitely didn't know them. I didn't know any of them. Did you not? Um, oh, well, I kind of knew one of them. I'll let you know as I go along. Okay. Which ones I didn't know. <laughs> Shane Flowers. Do you know Shane? Shane has dark hair. He's a fine head of hair, actually. <laughs> He's so a grand he head of hair. A grand head of hair. I him. take that hair off him any day of the week, Shane. <laughs> Thank you. Shane. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I had to get proof of this, so I'll add in the what video. What do you mean proof? Because I, I wanted proof. Because first of all, it made no sense to me. So I wanted proof. Okay. Shane can make his eye fart. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what kind of tubing is <coughs> connected wrongly in his body? Which is why I said, prove it, bitch. I Did he? see your eye for it, yeah. Did you do it? Mm. Could you see it? Could you hear it? So it's you like couldn't this. smell it, obviously. It does this thing so? Oh, that sound makes my teeth crawl. But how did he do it? He can force air out of his tear duct. No, he just literally... Do you know the way you go like this? Under your armpit? Yes, but he can do it with his eye. His eye. And you have video evidence of this? Yeah. So we all get to see it on here? Correct. Yes. Tune in and you will see it. Shane. Thank you, Shane, for uh, that. I bet he was a hit at all the kids' parties. <laughs> I can if he wasn't. A strong man. What would he be? Professional yeah. eye farter. <laughs> All he'd be known for is farting with his eyes. <laughs> There's worse things to be known for. Farting from your arse. <laughs> <laughs> you mean what you're famous for? <laughs> Luke Stoltman. Ooh. Go on. He says <laughs> he can't wear wool because it makes him feel weird and sweat. Well, I understand the feeling weird bit. But if you didn't like something, you just take it off. Why do you have to feel all weird about it? Well, imagine you were in a situation where there was only wool and it was cold. Which I imagine happens a lot in Scotland. What with it being up north and all. 365 days a year. Every year. But he feels weird, so it's a sensory thing. Or this is just weird himself. Aren't we all a little weird? They're extra weird, because they're Scottish. But wool is hairy. It feels like itchy, hairy. And Luke isn't actually, he's no hair in his body. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it feels weird then, obviously. <clears throat> I had to measure my own toe for this. Tom Stoltman, his third toe is over two inches long. Wait now, right, so. So an inch is this-ish. Yeah. An inch is normally the top of your finger. And his is over two, which is about that. And the average toe size is about an inch, middle toe size. So it sticks Wait, up. that's the fella beside your big toe? No, the middle one. Isn't that, that's your middle one. I know yes. it's five, right? But doesn't your big toe count for two, kind of? And then there's the four. Like this is your big toe. And then there's the four toes. And then this is your middle toe. But you were saying this one's your middle toe. On what planet <laughs> is that the middle one? <laughs> That's... On planet six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so is that turn... not your middle toe? Your middle. F Have I been miss? Which is my middle finger? I mean, I know I can count. I can see that obviously of five, the middle one is the one that's in between two on either side. But I always called my middle toe <laughs> the one closest to my big toe because he was just different to all the others. Actually, whose toe is that? Tom's, is it? Yeah. Well, I'd say myself and Tom might share some kind of <clears throat> very distant genes because my toe is also about two inches long. Your middle toe? 
Well, it's probably not two inches. I've never measured it though, but it's very long. We'll measure it and I'll write it back here and I can guarantee you it's nowhere. I bet you it's not even an inch. I That's bet what you she it said. is. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you it is. Well, it's not six inches. Evan, Singleton. You've never heard of him before. He's, 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 he's a, American, is he? Yeah, he's a wrestler. He's a wrestler? He's a wrestler. Why is he doing strongman if he wrestles? He used to be a wrestler. Oh, he stopped being a wrestler and now he's a... Um, strongman. A strong Did he stop being a wrestler? And why? Three or four years ago, I'd say. And why? That would be a good fact. <laughs> Evan, if you wouldn't mind <laughs> indulging us. Sharing that information with us. He right. was in WWE, like. With Seamus? The WWE, with Seamus. What was his uh, wrestling name? Fathead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Evan Singleton. What would what would you call him? Evan. Oh, he's he's called the T-Rex in Strongman. Because he has a T-Rex tattoo claw on here. Thank you. Gifts to call me. <laughs> <laughs> High altitude. <laughs> so he's a T-Rex. Oh yeah, anyway. So I was like, give me a strange fact about you. And he goes, how strange do you want it? And I said, the strangest oh, you all have. All the way strange, yeah. He says, well, I'm not really sure. I said, if you don't give me one, I'm just going to go along with the fact that I've seen your penis before and it's really small. <laughs> and he says, go with that. Well, in ancient Greece, he would have been a hit with the ladies. Why? Because they like small penises? Small penises were the, the all the rage back in ancient Greece. Because they were seen as um, refined. And anyone with a big old schlong hanging off them was an animal. Well. Guess what you were? It's a limerick lion. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a retarded beast. Has that animal got three legs? <laughs> that middle one, doesn't work, is kind of dragging behind him. <laughs> That's like call it the dragon. The dragon? Mm. That's my penis name, the dragon. And they're like, everyone said, why would you, you call it the dragon? <clears throat> then dragging it after me. <laughs> <laughs> you should see me walk along the sand. <laughs> Do you to wear long pants on hot days? <coughs> what? Do you to wear long pants on hot days? So it doesn't get burned. <laughs> Bobby Singleton. Who? Is he oh no, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, is he related to Evan? We have another two brothers in the, the world's strongest man. Bobby Thompson. Bobby Thompson. Mm -hmm. Is he also American? He's American. He's an American. He's an American American. That's how American he is. Oh, one of them. But he's um, he's American log press record holder. So oh yeah. He, so he's which makes his fact a bit more funny. So okay. he's like this, right? Like a really chonky chonk. Yeah. <laughs> so all his family are competitive runners. Stop it. Compet Except him. Except him. I'm afraid Bobby wouldn't run a vet for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is he any good at running? I wouldn't, I wouldn't put money on him. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a betting man. <clears throat> if I was a betting man, I would put no money on you. <laughs> also, his big toes don't move. There's a lot of big toe facts in this. His big toes don't move. Due to a uh, surgery. What do you think the surgery was? To stop them moving. <laughs> <laughs> Did they move too much, maybe? <laughs> You've no control over them. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> on both toes. Yeah. That's strange. We'll have to ask him that one now. You're going over with it. <clears throat> a notebook full of questions. You're going to have to get a lot of information and come back and tell everybody afterwards. Be like, I found out this, I found out that. <laughs> Just hanging around in the background behind trees and stuff when other strong men are having conversations. Just be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hiding, taking notes. Make little notes, be like, hmm, that is a small penis. So next, <coughs> we have Mark Felix. I like Mark. I like Mark. Mark is 56 this year. I mean, just amazing. I feel dead now, so. And Mark is still going strong. He's, he's really 20, consistent. 20 years older than me. 
he's a box player. A box player. So he plays to the box. Guardian. That's what we call him. A box player. A cajon. A cajon. Cajon. You cajon. <laughs> I cajon do it. <laughs> You're some cajon. <laughs> a cajon. So do you know the thing you sit on you? <clears throat> he plays one of them. Mm -hmm. So he's a strong man and he can play an instrument. And he's a full-time plaster. Like, is there nothing he can't do? Have you? I bet he can't eat his own head. <laughs> that in Team America, were please. No. And he was in the dilemma, what you meant? A dilemma to go flying. He said, like, "I've seen everything now. Have you ever seen a man eat his own head? <laughs> no. <laughs> then you haven't seen everything." <laughs> we have Pavlo. Pavlo. He's from Ukraine. Ooh. He's a tough son of a gun. Oh, he's the fella. From Ukraine. Yes, he went back fighting. Mm hmm And he's competing in World's Strongest Man. Good on him, boys. Fair play to Pavlo, boy. Fair play to. And they after winning the Eurovision. <laughs> sure, he could blow you all out of the water over there now as well, maybe. Possibly. Hmm. <laughs> Who knows? I'm going to be there. <laughs> He's a ballroom dancer. What? That's so cool. I could see it though. Really? Well, wouldn't that give him great coordination? For? Strongman. For? Just, you know, having spatial awareness. For? <laughs> For, you know, when you're big and strong and you can be a kind of clunky. <laughs> clunky. <laughs> clunky. Well, clunky. I bet you know Pavlo isn't. Clumsy? Yeah. Who's the clumsiest strongman ever? Me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> now that I can believe. Okay. <coughs> the second clumsiest. I'd say you're probably first, second and third on that um, list. Oh, there is someone kind of clumsy. Oh, Tom Stoltman. Oh my God, Tom Stoltman by a mile. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably his toes, his, is it? His uh, wife, Sinead, put up a, pit, a video of him on Instagram the last day. And it's like she knew it was going to happen because oh, she had the camera on the. Because she could see what's them things called on the door where you. Spy hole? Yeah. What's <laughs> it called? Call I don't know. A peep hole? <laughs> <laughs> a glory hole? Glory hole. <laughs> so she was looking out like that, yeah. and Tom was coming in and he was walking up the steps, and his feet, his foot went down through the. went down through the fucking. Oh. On the floor and he <laughs> falls up against the door. <laughs> he actually went down through it. Yeah. Oh my god. god. Oh my god. Protein is exiting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to edit some of them out. <laughs> or I might not. <laughs> and last but not least, me. What do you want to know? I was thinking about this. What's the strangest fact about me? And there's some things I can't mention. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'll sling off a few of them. I used to be an altar boy. I lasted a week. Was what? it only a week? That's it. I'd say I only done one or two masses. Why? What did you do wrong? I really wasn't into the fingering. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Instead of the chalice. Mm -hmm. What's that? <laughs> Did you ever get to do the bell bit? I always wanted to do the bell bit. That's why you went for the job. I was like, God, I can't wait. When am I hitting the bell? <laughs> Have you ever hit a bell before? You can hit the bell when you ring mine. <laughs> wow. I was shot at five times. That is also true. <laughs> I can verify. By my father. There was deliberate too, accident, by the way. But he missed five times. It's like that uh, in Dumb and Dumber. What? A shot of Dean's. Wow, Harry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, Harry, you have a terrible shot. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, you're alive! And you're a horrible shot. And they gave him a vest. <laughs> what, what if they had been faced? It was a risk we were willing to take. <laughs>
You nearly got a hatchet in the head. Nearly. Nearly. They also missed. I was hit by a truck once. <laughs> How many lives have you left? <laughs> Um, my father was racing in a tractor before and he had a bump in the road and I was sitting on the back window. <laughs> oh yeah! And when he hit the bump in the road, I fell out the back window. <laughs> and there was a, the car that was racing us was upper hole. So when I fell out the back window, the car swerved and went into the ditch. And he was like, oh my car. And I was like, oh my back. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we couldn't not ask Chris Strange facts. Do you remember that time, um, <clears throat> Siobhan, who would be my sister as well as yours? <laughs> <laughs> she is, in fact, a sister to both of us. <laughs> because we are, in fact, brother and sister. <clears throat> when you were chasing her and she slammed the door on you and she cut your wrist. Yeah, she slit my wrist. Yeah. Opened it up. And the doctor said that it was... When she slammed the door and I put out my hands to stop it and they went through a pane of glass, it was when I pulled my hand back in that did the damage. There was one jagged bit and it opened my wrist. And also it was very lucky, he said, that the vein branches there and it cut in between the two veins and that's what saved me. God, I've never seen that before. It's disgusting. That's not disgusting. Scars are cool. Except that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's very it looks, cool. It looks like a bubble. And look, you can see the... <laughs> You can see the stitch marks, <coughs> see the little dots where the stitches went in. It literally looks like a bum hole. Now he wouldn't make a seamstress. Can you make a shit? But he, cl <laughs> he closed it up anyhow. So um, I nearly had a hand severed. And that is all we have for now. See you later, alligator. Bye.